Large spills of blood and other potentially infectious materials occasionally occur in laboratories and are typically cleaned up by laboratory personnel. If you should experience a spill of this type, follow the procedures described in this video. If you are splashed with infectious material during a spill, immediately remove all contaminated clothing and dispose of them as biomedical waste or autoclave them. Inform those in close proximity of the spill to leave the area. And if you need assistance with cleanup, call the Office of Environmental Health and Safety. Keep people out of the area while waiting the 30 minutes it will take for any aerosols to settle. Prepare to clean up the spill by assembling your spill cleanup materials and donning your personal protective equipment. For large spills, you will want eye, nose, and mouth protection, a lab coat, two pairs of gloves, and disposable shoe covers. When ready, approach the spill cautiously, laying paper towels or other absorbent materials on the blood splattered areas. Using tongs, a dustpan, or pieces of cardboard, pick up the sharps and dispose of them in a sharps container. Never use your hands to pick up sharps. Set aside any contaminated equipment for later decontamination. Next place absorbent materials on top of the spill and add disinfectant, usually a 10 to 1 dilution of freshly prepared bleach solution, first around the edges and then in the middle of the spill. The disinfectant must remain in contact with the spilled material for at least 15 minutes. While waiting for the disinfectant to do its job, soak some paper towels with disinfectant and clean any visible contamination found around the spill. Always use tongs in case sharps are encountered. After 15 minutes, gather and dispose of the disinfectant soaked absorbent material in a biomedical waste bag or sharps container. Absorb any residual disinfectant with paper towels and dispose of them after wiping the area to remove any visible contamination. Please note, if this was a high risk blood spill or a spill of an infectious agent, the absorbent material would have been placed over the sharps, the disinfectant added, and sharps, together with the absorbent material, disposed of in a sharps container. This procedure decreases the risk of handling sharps prior to disinfection. Once the area has been cleaned of all visible contamination, spray the area with disinfectant and allow it to air dry. When finished, carefully remove your personal protective equipment by removing your shoe covers first, followed by your outer gloves aseptically, sleeves if worn, lab coat, inner gloves, and face protection. Of course, you should always wash your hands thoroughly after removing your personal protective equipment. And don't forget to inform others that they can return to work now that the spill has been safely cleaned up.